Hello Divine Masculine and welcome to your power message for Friday, fabulous Friday. So we're going to use four decks of cards for you today. We're going to use the Mermaid Tarot to bring in a message for you about the energy that you are in, but they're intuitively giving me saliva in the mouth and that's when you're craving for something. You're craving for your Divine Feminine, but I feel you're craving change. It's like you're salivating for them inside, so the desire is strong and they're giving me the energy of drilling you know there's next door our building and they're making noise but it sounds like a drilling noise even though i don't think they're drilling today it sounds like a deep drill and that's connected with decisions so maybe you're going through some issues with the mouth today tooth pain gums you know bleeding in the mouth but if you are having any tooth pain or aches it's connected with decisions and once you make a decision and follow through on that it'll clear up because more than likely, you know, it is some kind of phantom ache or phantom pain because you need to make a decision or you're being back and forth in your energy. And they give me all this saliva. And that comes up when we are hungry for something more, hungry for something new, a challenge. Because I feel this isn't just about the hunger you have for your feminine. It's about desire for change in your life, wanting more for your life wanting more money, more success, better things, opportunities. And if you've got kids, you also want more for them too. And you know that you're going to be able to give them more in a different situation than the one you're in right now. So we're going to bring in this deck for that. And I'm also going to bring in the gifts of life to see what you've been given today. We're also going to bring in the Archangel Oracle cards by Diana Cooper. And we're going to bring in this deck as well. So thank you, angels. What's the energy, please, the masculine is in today? Wow. Okay. I'm going to take them. Why not? I'm going to see what they are. Usually I'd say that's too many cards, but I'm interested to see what's going on there. Because it's like a little mini reading in itself. What energy is the masculine in today? Or what do we need to know for the masculine? And what's the energy coming around the masculine? Thank you, angels. And what gift are you being given today? What gift are you being given? Thank you. So the gift that you're being given today is the gift of fulfillment. Look at this. And when you fulfill your life, you feel better. You feel fulfilled. And I feel your feminine fulfills you in many ways. And right now you're looking at your life and thinking, does this fulfill me? What do I need to do? And he says, fulfill your aspirations for your own growth and development. Now it's the time to turn your thoughts into action with both faith and confidence. And this is really powerful because with faith and belief, all things are possible. And when you're confident in who you are, you make the required changes. So it's clear why they give me this saliva in the mouth because this is about you hungering for more. And the angels say, now is the time, now to turn your thoughts, the things you've been dreaming about and visualizing and wanting for so long into action. And you can do that with faith and confidence. So confidence isn't enough, you have to have faith. And faith isn't enough because you have to have confidence to make the changes you've been guided to make. And if you've seen 555, that's why. So feminines, if you're cross-watching, if all of a sudden today your mouth is watering, You've got saliva in the mouth, you don't know why. This is the hunger and the desire. So it's not just felt in the body, you know, when you get the heat and the kundalini rising and you feel all this passion. It's also this desire to, you know, craving what you want. So you're feeling your masculine's craving you and a new life. So masculines, fulfill your aspirations today by thinking, what do I want to achieve? Not just to be happy but to grow your soul and for your development so i feel you are thinking about all areas of your life especially because we're on the brink of a new month and april is about creative energy you know we've got spring energy in april we've got the resurrection coming back to life rebirth energy so we've got the third eye portal so what you think about in your mind you create in your life because thoughts have power and thoughts become things. And your third eye is opening so you can see beyond the physical realm. So you can see beyond your current circumstances and manifest what you desire. So the third eye, your vision, 
is becoming a portal to create what you truly want. It says vision, clairvoyance and clarity. Even if there's confusion, if you're going through confusion today because you're not sure what's next, how hold that vision. And this is really powerful because we got the number 39. And I'm sure that we got the 39 in the feminine reading today, which is about having faith that your dreams are manifesting, that there's a spiritual beginning ahead here. So have faith that your dreams are fully supported by the universe when you have that vision, that clairvoyant vision, because you may not see yourself as a clairvoyance, but you certainly have the insight to be one, which means you are a psychic being, you know, you are a masculine, so you're very tapped in with your earthly senses. But the longer you go around your day, and the longer you're here on earth, and the more you tap in with your spiritual energies, the more your clair awareness breaks free and comes out in you. So you are clairvoyant. You can see, you do have that power to see and create. So see through your current circumstances today and think this is not my life. You don't have to live this life this way. You can create the change first in the mind and that creates a portal to go there in the body. And we've got Archangel Jewel saying, align with the highest and go with the flow. So align with the highest, the highest good of all. Do what's right for all, including yourself. Because a lot of the times you sacrifice your own happiness and you put your own needs on hold. And then you feel lots of regret and resentment thinking, I've wasted so much time. I've wasted years away from my feminine. I've wasted my best years doing this job when I wanted to be doing that job or in this relationship when I wanted to be in that relationship, and you're being reminded the time is now to act and fulfil your destiny. So let's see what all the tarot is saying here, and you know, I'm curious because there's a lot of cards here, and you know, you go through many things along this journey, so you've got the seven of pentacles, so this is what you're really having this vision about, so I feel these cards are going to cover the things you want to create in your life, and the fears you may have around them, because the first thing I'm seeing here is that you want to be with your feminine in a very powerful way. You want to be the protector. You want to be the provider. You want to be able to support your feminine through all things, including building a family. You know, they show me the pregnancy there as well. So for those of you who actually want kids together, you know, families, if you're cross-watching and you're, you've dreamt about this, this is your sign of what's to come. Because masculines, you're very protective there. You, you've got your eyes closed. You're holding your feminine close. You're listening to the sounds of the baby there. You know, you are manifesting a dream future here. And, you know, you want a life where you can give to your feminine what your feminine gives to you. You want to make this equally balanced. And you want to drink, they give me fear, from each other's cup. So this is very much about the love and the passion and the desire and the trust. You know, you're both drinking from each other's cup there, which is a great sign of trust. Because, you know, drinking from each other's cup, there could be poison in that cup. There could be anything in that cup. And you're trusting each other to drink out of that cup. So this is also about trust. You're saying to your family, I want you to trust me. I want you to trust me enough to drink out of my cup. And the cup is going to be where you fulfill everything. We've got the Hierophant, so you do want commitment. But you also want to understand what you're going through. So I'm also seeing this about knowledge and understanding and healing and finding your way and being able to give good news. You want to come towards your feminine when you can give good news. When, you know, you can say, this is what I'm doing and I'm doing it now. This is why. Because I love you and I care about you and I want to make it happen today. So this is another reason why you may be holding yourself back. And feminines, if you're feeling all these thoughts and feelings, write them down. Write down your thoughts, they have power. And the Ten of Pentacles is that love. But with benefits, you know, this is very much about the support. You know, you're dreaming about support from others. And, you know, you may feel watched right now. You may feel like people are watching you and observing you. And that may be very stressful or pressuring. But you know that it's because they really do deep down want what's best for you. I'm feeling this as family, friends, people who do care about you. But remember, sometimes what they want for you is not what's best for you. 
because they see your perception or your journey from their perception and they don't really understand your perception of things. So I feel this is a message for you that when you make the changes, you'll have all the support that you need from the right people. Don't let the ego keep you trapped in fear when you know you want to make a change and take a leap of faith and do what you want to do. I feel some of you may have been drinking too much alcohol, wallowing in your own fear, your own struggle, and that's been keeping you trapped. It may have even caused you physical upset, could have caused you sleepless nights, worry, and your feminine is there guiding you, keeping you strong. Your feminine is there watching over you, sending you love. And you can feel that. So you want to clear up your way. So for those of you who drink too much alcohol, you've been wallowing in your own self-pity, you have the power to save yourself today by taking back your power and expressing your truth and saying what you feel and having confidence in who you are and what this love is and showing your feminine that they matter to you. And that's where you currently are. So you're, you've got this vision of creating change and being with your feminine. And, you know, even exchanging the cup there, you know, is a very powerful ritual. You know, I feel in some cultures they do that where they, you know, drink out of each other's cup. And this is about trust and love and union and all the things you want to create. So you're saying to your feminine, I do love you. You're the one I know we're meant to be, but I want to be able to give to you equally. I want to be able to protect you and start a family with you the right way. I want to make sure that we have the support that we need from our family and our friends and our loved ones. And I'm willing to eat fire for you and be there for you and fight for you. But I must do it my own way to express my love to you at the right time. When I've overcome my fears, my worries, all the situations I'm trapped in. So I can release any fear and give you some good news which you deserve. And I have been drinking too much and wallowing and thinking how bad everything is. But I'm releasing that because your power is helping me to start again. And if you're guided to write about this experience or you are divine feminine, then write down your thoughts and feelings. But this is very much about communication and the power of love. So masculines, your message today is think about what fulfills you and what you want to bring in. And when you allow your mind to wander... These are all the things that are on your mind, but you have the power to operate in your highest power to go with the flow and create your vision right now into a reality and let that be your guide as you start a new month. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.